In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we would be seeing that how can we create and customize the combo charts in Microsoft Excel. Now what is a combo chart? A combo chart as the name suggests is a combination of more than one chart type. And why do we need combo charts? The reason is uh, present in this table. In this table, we have the same uh, year and the sales data, but we have another column in front of us. That is this purchase column. So along with the year, uh, every year we have a sales data and how much purchasing we have done in that particular year. Okay, so this is what we have in our uh, table. And out of this, we want to create a chart. So how can we create it? Uh, for that, what you got to do is just select this whole data, go to the insert tab. And uh, here you can just go to recommended charts, you can click on recommended charts that will give you an option of the recommended charts that what kind of charts uh, are recommended by Microsoft Excel out of this data. If you want, you can just select these recommended charts as well. But if you want to create a combo chart, then how can you go with it? You can go to this all charts option. And in this all charts option, uh, the very last option is the combo chart. You can go to this combo chart. When you go to this combo chart, then you can see this is a combo chart, which is the clustered column and the line combo chart. In the clustered column, we have the sales amount and uh, in the line, we have a purchase amount line. But the year is also present in the clustered column, which we can just change as we already know the procedure. So I'm just going to go with it. But if you want, there are other type of the combo charts available as well, like this uh, for the secondary access as well. There is a secondary access available for this purchase column. Or if you want, there is this stacked area for sales and a clustered column for purchase. Or if you want, you can just customize it as per your wish. But I'm going to go with this clustered column line on secondary access. Okay. So you can just click on OK and uh, you can just customize it. Yes, this is what I like. No, Yes, this is the one I like. Now you want to customize its data. So how can you do that? Just go to the select data option. Uncheck this year from here and on the horizontal category, go to edit and select all this years option and click on OK. Then you can see that your charts have been customized. Then you can again click on OK. Now, uh, the problem with the secondary access you can see is this secondary access ranges from $0 to $7,000 and it totally does not matches with this primary access, which means if you try to read data with the help of the primary access, then it is like what $30,000 of sales and even more than that of the purchase. But actually the purchase value is just $5,000. So it is not very good in the visibility. So you can just delete the secondary access. And when you do that, it is customized as per the primary access for better viewing purposes. But if you have the uh, opportunity to explain your chart, then you can go with the secondary access as well, cause uh, that would be of more clarity. But if you do not have an opportunity to explain and only the visual opportunity, so then you got to go with this um, primary access only without the secondary access. Now, if you want to customize this chart title, you can just customize it like uh, sales versus purchase. That's what I'm going to go with sales v purchase. Yes. Okay. Now, if you want to uh, just customize this line, uh, you want to customize say, its color. You are not happy with this color. You want to customize it. So how can you do that? Just click on it. Go to this format data series option. In this, you will find this fill and line option. You can just customize its color to anything that you like. I'm going with this blue color so that it is visible. Then if you want, you can also customize these marker options. Now, what are these marker options? These, this kind of a cluster you can see are these marker options. So this I'm going with a darker blue color for them. And um, again, that's all these things that you can do with this. So this is uh, how you can create a combo chart. Now, what if you want to add something to this combo chart? How can you add it? Uh, you can just click on this chart and there is this plus option, which is used to add some of the chart elements. 
now i want to add something like if you want you can just add these access titles it would be if you just hover over it it would show you a preview okay you can just create access titles you can add data labels i want to add data labels yes i want to add data labels and um, where you want to the center to the inside end to the inside base all these bunch of options are available if you want you can also add as a data call out but that looks horrible so i'm just going to go with this uh, inside end option that looks good if you want you can also add the data table but one important thing is this trend line option if you just uh, click over here then there is an option of linear forecast that will help you to forecast the pattern based upon the current data trends so if you just click on it it would ask you that what uh, is the base basis on which you want to add a trend line so i want to add a trend line on the basis of sales you can click on okay and when you click away you can see that there is this linear sales trend line which shows that your sales are going down and that is the trend line that has been added automatically by microsoft excel for the sales data okay so that's how you can add trend lines if you want you can also add trend line for this purchase data as well you can see that this purchase data trend line is also added which is shown over here this is the gray line shown so that is used to predict the pattern if you want uh, to predict a pattern for your sales if you want to predict a pattern for your purchase then this trend line option is very important and that's how you can add it in this combo chart or if you want you can add it in any chart if there is any kind of a simple chart also you can add it very easily so that's how you can customize or work with a combo chart